I uh, conducted another soap test with ethanol blends. This time I purchased some carburetor kits from an online small engine store. I looked up a common Briggs and Stratton motor and then searched for that carb kit and I ordered five of them. But I only took three pieces out, two O-rings and then a gasket. And I have five blends of fuel here this evening. Um, E0, zero, zero ethanol, regular 10% ethanol, 30% ethanol, 50% ethanol, and E85. Uh, identical five kits, identical three pieces. I have this hanging board here where I have the different blends. So we will have identical pieces of the kit next to each other with the different blends. I will then take this S hook, hang it off of the O ring or gasket. And I have a bag of all even 3 8 nuts that I'll hang from them. And we shall look at which one is hanging the lowest, which one is damaged the most. Uh, these are all soaked equally, so we shall see what fuel damages them. They are obviously E10 rated kits for new, new engines. So I will, uh, I'm going to put this part and fast forward, but I will record all of it. And uh, I'll chat with you after we're done hanging them up. Okay, they are all on their hooks. None of them were super destroyed or super weak like that. This was a 60 day soap test. Uh, I was hoping one nut would be enough weight to tell some difference, but it's not. So I'm going to have to add more weight. But um, it looks like the E85 one here is a little less damaged than some of these middle ones. So that's kind of an interesting observation, but I think more weight will definitely tell the tale more. And with these gaskets here, I notice this one is whiter while these all remain black. That might change as they air dry, but we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, I want to add some more weight, so I'll uh, be back with you. Okay, we uh, needed to get some more weights for the test since uh, my previous weight setup didn't do the trick. So I bought some more hooks and some bigger washers, bigger nuts to uh, weight these. Uh, I will say what I see now. These are all, obviously there's not enough weight to, to show a difference. They're, none of them are brittle or anything like that. The O-rings on the left are the same way and nothing shows up. The rings in the middle, the E0 is not very stretched, and then the E10 is stretched some, and then as you increase ethanol, it's stretched less. E85 is similar to E0. This, this matches up perfectly with everything I've been saying in my tests, how E10 and E0 are reformulated extremely differently, and the blame always gets pinned on ethanol. In fact, not. That's why I do these tests. So I shall add weights to these and uh, we'll see what that reveals. Okay, I added some more weight to them and uh, two of them that kind of showed a little bit more. This one here, I might end up testing it different than that, but it, they're all, none of them are super flimsy or nothing. I bent them all and there's really no difference between them. This is a 60 day soap test. Uh, this one here, the 0% ethanol on this end is stretched least than these. These two here, then as you add ethanol in the 50 and then especially the 85%, you actually lose that stretchiness. You can see that the width is a little bit wider, similar to the non-ethanol, and of course these are a little bit thinner. And it's the same thing if you come up close, you can see with the thicker but smaller O-ring that uh, E85 is real similar to the non-ethanol. It's, it's really a shame how much different the formulations are and the there's always a scapegoat as ethanol is a problem. So 
this is why uh, oil companies are deathly afraid of you of going above 10%. So. So uh, with that, I'll wrap up this video. A um, couple things I'd like to chat with. Uh, E15 is an up-and-coming fuel found at many locations. You can save five to ten cents. If comment if you have questions. And then this is the conversion kit I have on my pickup. Change the 85.com. 20,000 miles with it, not one issue. Like my Facebook page, Midwest Ethanol Post. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.